Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be talking about how to hook up two solar panels, connect them in parallel so you can have higher current. So this is a 7 amp and 7 amp will increase it to 14 amp. So now you have a 40, 40, 80 watt of power to charge this power pack. Uh, charge much faster, twice as fast. All right, let's get started. Okay, so how do you do it? Well, it's quite simple actually. If you have a solar panel, it, now before I start, just make sure you have a solar panel that uh, have similar wattage, okay? So you talk about 40 and 40. Try to get something similar to that because um, having different current running across, I don't know how that uh, will play with the, the current that's running across, but I think it's better if you can get a same or similar um, uh, panel of, of that has the same uh, wattage. So what you want to do is uh, the first solar panel is uh, 40 watt. Okay, you have this plug here, and you want to plug in the alligator clip, and that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's that one, and then the second one, same. You have this alligator clip, and then what you want to do is um, now because you want to connect in parallel, parallel basically. Uh, sharing the same type of terminal. So you have red with red and black with black like that, right? But of course you want to be able to hook up to the battery here, okay? So in the battery, there is a black terminal, a huge alligator clip here, and the red terminal, right? Now make sure you turn it on, okay? Make sure you turn it on because there's a button on this uh, power pack that you actually turn on. And once you do that, then on the black side, there you go, okay? The negative terminal, you want to hook that up like this. Okay, clip both ends so that is in parallel now. Okay, and then for the black, um, for the red, you do the same for the red alligator clip. You click on that, clip on that, okay, and that's about it. And then, of course, you leave that out in the full uh, sun and you will get your 80 watt per hour of charging. And um, if this battery, this battery happened to be like a uh, 400 watt, so if it's 80 watts, so you'll probably be able to charge it in five hours. Right now, assuming you have zero uh, percent to 100 percent, but usually you don't want to leave your battery to zero percent, usually it's like 40 percent, and so it'll take you maybe only three hours, okay? So that's the advantage of having um, two panels of one, because with one panel, it's only 40 watt, with two panels, you have 80 watts and it's going at uh, 12 volt, uh, uh, 14 amperage, okay, of current that's running through it. And that's how you do it. Now, uh, I wouldn't advise you to do it this way. This is the simplest way, but the only problem with that is you have to be monitoring the, uh, the, the voltage, right? Because if the voltage go above, let's say, 15 volt, then you're going to have a problem with uh, being overcharged. So. I, what I would suggest you do is you get these controllers, right? These battery controller, which will monitor how much voltage will go uh, across. So if, if it's less than 13 volt, it won't charge. If it's above 14.2 uh, volt, it will pretty much stop charging and it will keep the current uh, running uh, and, and just trickle charge through. So it won't go above 14.2 uh, voltage. So that's what you need. So I'll show you right now how to hook that up. So this is the ideal situation right now. I'm going to show you because some pe people don't want to do that because they don't want to spend extra 20 and another 20 or 40 bucks for this. But I would advise you to do that because you don't have to be monitoring the voltage. Okay. If you want to, uh, want to, then you would have to get a voltmeter, hook it up, and then uh, make sure that it's a C 14.2 volt. But um, to you know to save time and for yourself. Uh, you know, don't have to go and monitor these uh, system uh, while you, let's say, go camping and then, you know, come back and make having your battery charged, fully charged without even monitoring it. This is what you need, okay? Controller. Okay, so let's do that right now. Okay, so what you want to do... Okay. So for the first panel... A lot of wire, eh? Okay. For well, the first panel, what you want to do is, uh, on the controller, it will say 
to the solar panel and then the other one is out to the battery okay so what we want to do is unplug this alligator clip <laughs> and plug the solar panel to the controller where it said solar panel so that's what you want to do first okay so here now we connect to the solar panel so, okay and then the output which is the battery okay we want to connect that to the battery so this is where you put the alligator clip plug and you plug that in and this is where we're going to plug into the battery okay we're going to leave that for now okay. then we do the same for the other one so on the second controller you look for the solar panel and you take the solar panel plug this one and you connect to the control that says solar panel that's what we're doing right now like that okay and then on the other side you plug in the alligator clip there we go so now you have a controller with alligator clips okay so this is where you want to connect these um, ne uh, negative terminal which is black with black there we go okay and what's the other one okay yeah <coughs> like that okay and then for the red okay you connect red alligator clip with red alligator clips like that okay and it's done so now just make sure you separate the two and then you have the controller there it is okay, I'm just leave it for now like that and that's how you do it it's done and now it's going to charge the battery pack system 80 watt but the good news is that you don't have to be monitoring it because you have now a controller which once it reach 14.2 uh, volt then it will start charging okay so it has reached its maximum that it needs uh, to charge the battery and you're okay so you can, when you come back from uh, you know some field trip and all that during camping your battery is fully charged and you can use it at night or in the evening when there's no sun all right, next time I'm going to show you how to connect in series and I'll show you why you want to do that and of course the reason and I'll give you a little hint you want to increase the voltage from 12 to 4, 24 and so you can charge a system that uh, requires that kind of voltage all right and oh before I do that just have a look at the video attached to this um, this uh, video uh, where I go outside and show you how I actually plug it in okay Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time at jk2.com.